and welcome back. I hope everybody is doing okay out there again today. Now today, the jewelry project we're going to be working on is gonna be a very fun and cool edgy ankle bracelet. You can't go wrong with an adorable ankle bracelet in the summertime. So I actually made a little wire bracelet for the anklet with a little bit of a chain. I'm gonna show you how we turn this and a little bit of resin into a cool ankle bracelet. So let's get started, you guys. The first thing we want to do is protect our gorgeous hands with some disposable gloves. The next thing you'll need is something disposable to stir with. Don't forget a mixing container with measures on the side. Of course, the duo that makes it all happen are resin and hardener. A small torch to destroy those unsightly bubbles. Grab some Mika powder so we can give these beads a fun pop of color. A small spoon so you can put the Mika powder into your mixture. And last but not least, your silicone mold. Grab your hardener and pour one part into your mixing container. Don't forget to keep your supplies clean by wiping your bottles off when you're finished pouring. Now just grab your bottle of resin and pour one equal part of resin into your mixing container. Before you start mixing, don't forget to hit start on your three minute timer. Now to avoid excess bubbles, you guys, make sure you do this step very slowly. Now that our mixture is done, pick out some fun edgy Mika powder colors. Since we're using two different colors, you're going to want to separate your mixture into two. Now add a small amount of Mika powder into each container and then slowly mix the Mika powder into your mixture. Once you're finished making your new mixture, then just pour them into the mold in whichever shapes you'd like. Once you are finished pouring, just wait 10 minutes and then it's time to debubble. Grab your small torch and then just lightly brush the flames over the resin. And make sure not to hold the flame in one place too long or else it could potentially warp the resin. Alright you guys, this portion of the project is finally done. Now it's time to wait 72 hours for these to fully set. Alright you guys, so it's been a few days and these little beads are ready to finally come out. So I'm just going to pop a few out and then show you what they look like. Alright you guys, so here's the coppery one we did. Super shiny, super gorgeous color. All right, and here are the dark silver ones. Again, just a nice shine and a really bold color. So the last step to this project is putting the beads onto here. So what I'm going to be doing is taking the same kind of wire I used to make the actual bracelet and wrapping the beads inside of that. All right, you guys, so I'm going to zip over and do that and be right back for the final edgy anklet look. All right, you guys, so here is the final product. Look at that. I really love the like wrapped wire look on things and I'm very excited that I could do my first jewelry piece with that sort of technique. As you can see, the wire on the side is wrapped around itself and then you have the wire wrapped around the cute little beads and then just a chain to hold it together. All right, so I'll show you guys the final look of it on my ankle. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. It really does help me out knowing that you guys are liking my content and you want to come back to my channel for more. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to check out my last week's video, which was very summer vibes with some fun sunflower earrings. But thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me that you guys are continuing to come back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe get a little inspired from it and do your own little project. And I hope you guys have a really awesome day and I'll see you guys next time for something new.